Right, so today I'm going to be showing you how to handle a component that has multiple styles that will be applied conditionally and you're using Tailwind CSS. Now this is a common problem that people have where they will resort to trying to override styles which does not work in, in Tailwind or they will try to uh, inline some variables inside the class name which also does not work. So I'm going to show you the proper and extendable way which will, I think, save you lots of time. Now let's get started. I've created a Next.js project and I'm using TypeScript. This video does not require any specific framework. It just needs to be JavaScript or TypeScript so that the pattern is the same, right? So I'm going to be still using Next.js, but you can follow along in any uh, framework that you want or just in vanilla JS. okay? So let's get started. I have a page here that has a button component and we want to style this button component with three styles, right? So conditionally, it will be applied either the primary styles, the secondary styles or the danger styles will be applied. And I've created this component here, the button component. It has children that will be passed and displayed and it has some general purpose styles here. Now, we want to first define the styles that we have. We have three main styles for the button. So I'm going to create an enum directory here and I'm going to say button variants. And in this directory, I'm going to create an enum called button variants and we're going to give it a primary, a secondary, and a danger variant. Okay? And we want to pass this inside the props here, right? So I'm going to say variant, and I'm going to say button variants, okay? And we have to pass it here, and I'm going to give it a default value of button variants dot primary. So if we don't pass the variant, it will be the primary one. Now, we have to define the styles for the variant, right? So which styles will be applied for, for example, the primary variant? Now you can write these styles here, and we're going to write them here, but we're going to move them to a separate directory once I show you the example. So I'm going to say const button styles is equal to, and we're going to give it an object. It's going to be an object. And we're going to say if, for example, button variants, say primary, we're going to give it, for example, background not red, blue, 500, and text white. Okay, and we're going to do this. We're going to do the same thing for the secondary and the danger one. So the danger should have red, and the secondary should have, let's say, purple. We're going to say secondary, and we're going to say danger here. And now we have to apply these styles. So what you would do, well, not you, you're the best programmer, but some people, what they would do, they would write it like this we'll do this here and then they would add for example some different styles here conditionally for example if if some style is for example variant dot primary variant is equal to button variance primary and then they're gonna say some styles, then they're going to say no styles, right? So, for example, button blue, text white. Now this looks, this is horrible, right? Because you will have more styles, and this is just the basic two-line example of how many styles, of how many styles the variant will have. This might extend to, to being this big, right? And you cluttering the class name here will not help uh, the maintainability of the code, right? So we're not going to be doing it like that, but we can do it like this. So we can say button styles, and we're going to pass the variant that we passed here, right? So this will be always applied, and one of the styles will be applied conditionally based on this object here. So when we go to our browser, there you go. Now I can change the button variant here. So I'm going to say variant is equal to, let's say, button variance and let's say danger. 
when we go back there you go danger one we can say secondary there you go the secondary one so this is way cleaner than writing 50 ternary operators that will check something and writing functions that will check things and doing ifs and switches this is a constant very fast way to apply the conditional styles now one thing i would recommend here is passing this button styles to a separate directory so we're going to say constants and we're going to say button.ts so inside of this constants we're going to pass the button styles right we have to import the button variants here and we have to export this okay now why is it purple and red let me see button okay it's good yeah, i was wondering why it was red now we can import them here so we can say button styles it's going to import from constants as you can see and this is your button component it's way way cleaner for the button styles to work from constants you have to go to your tailwind config and just add the directory here so as you can see i'm in the main the root you can have you can see that the app they applied the styles from the app directory you can also add constants here you will have to add constants here if you want to use the pattern where you will store your styles in the constants so you can just add the constants here which will look for all the js typescript jsx tsx and other files and you can import them here and there you go so this is a very scalable a proper way and a very maintainable way to handle multiple styles and multiple variants with Tailwind.